Now we're going to cover riding pants and what we believe is probably one of the most important pieces of protection on the street. Yeah. Knee guard. Knee guards. And these are literally the last, I would say, about year and a half, two years. These things are selling at an alarming rate, and it's because I think people have figured it out. You fall down on the street, even with a pair of good Kevlar pants on, but nothing protecting your knee from impact, it's not a good situation. Yeah. You won't be happy. You, no. I saw a video once, I'm going to just, on YouTube, a guy fell in a pair of riding pants, right? I think he was in a band, he was going to, whatever, he fell. And he had a video of himself, he was taking it himself, this guy must have had a terrific pain tolerance. He wore a hole right through the skin, and there was a hole into his knee, and it filled up with gravel. And he was in the hospital, and they were cleaning it out. And he was doing this video to kind of advocate, hey, everyone, I learned a valuable lesson tonight, and it's this, wear something on your knees. We sell a lot of great brands here. The best seller has been this Knox piece because it's very low profile, hard outer GP shell, three strap system which keeps it in place. Smitty is wearing the Shift Torque Jeans, one of our, our most popular selling pair of riding pants. Icon makes some great stuff, so does Technique. Right. Got some Kevlar in them, and he's had on the whole time we've done this video, a knee guard on one side. Yeah. And <laughs> this you, side has the knee guard, as you can tell. And that side, no knee guard. That, no knee guard. Really stealth. You can get to your location, pull your pants up, undo the straps, pull these things right off, put them in a backpack. Yeah. Comfortable for hours. If you're going to ride on the street, whether it's this brand or another, wear some knee protection under your pants. Now we want to talk about additional protection, back protection specifically. He's wearing a Technic Mercury jacket. It's a very affordable leather jacket, tons of perf. Comes with Knox CE certified stuff in the elbows and the shoulders. Okay, CE certification, real quickly, what does that mean? That's a European standard, okay? They actually test the armor over there to see how much energy it can absorb, okay? And it needs to, to absorb a certain amount to get accepted and have the standard be able to put the label on it. But it's a European thing. We don't do anything like that here currently in the U.S., so we've kind of adopted that standard. We've put on underneath this jacket a Knox Aegis back protector, CE Level 2 certified, one of the best in the world. And the point of him having the jacket on now is go ahead and show him the fit. Yeah. I would actually wear the same size jacket without the back protector as well, so it's still very comfortable. Um, you can see it's not very bulky. We took out the piece of foam that comes in it, and if you want to go ahead and take the jacket off and show them what you have on underneath. The street can be a dangerous place. There's a lot of obstacles out there, right? It's more dangerous than a racetrack. Truthfully, I would take laps naked on a racetrack before I would ride around on the street without wearing proper gear, okay? On the racetrack, I can control what's happening. On the street, you can't control, you know, Grandma Smith pulling out of the, the subdivision yeah. right in front of you. You know, you can't control the gravel in a turn, those things you can't control. So wearing proper gear can make a huge difference. Hard outer shell, tons of adjustability here. We've got separate videos on all this. It's a great piece, and I just want to illustrate Look at the difference between that. I mean, that's like night and day, no doubt about it. There's a lot of different solutions for back protection on the street and on the racetrack. We showed you the Aegis back protector. Alpine Stars make some great stuff, no doubt about it. Another piece from Knox that's really tailored for the street is the Fastback. It's done in a vest style, right? Pure mesh, so it's going to flow air. Easy to put on. It's like putting on a zippered vest. Yeah. But you turn around, and there you have it, a contoured back protector that covers you right down to the top of your waist. It's a little shorter than the first one we showed you, and the reason behind that is it keeps it a little more comfortable. It's more oriented for street riding, okay, where that Aegis can be used on the street or the racetrack. The glove is not a glove. They're all different, okay. We're going to start off with actually a real good example of a, of a hybrid, you know, kind of a leather and textile glove from Alpine Stars, the Thunder Glove. High airflow, reasonable protection, right? Stepping it up a notch, still staying with a short cuff glove. We're going to stick with Alpine Stars again here. Their catalog's really wide. This is the, the GPX glove. This is full leather in a short glove. You've amped up the protection quite a bit here. Right. You're going to lose some of the cooling that you would have picked up with that, right? They're still going to fit comfortably, but they're going to protect more, far more than the Thunder can. So just think about that when you're looking at these gloves, right? 
if you're gonna ride in a climate where it's smoking hot, it's 95 degrees, it's Southern California, it's Arizona, stuff like that. Texas, yeah. Yeah, you know, you might need to sacrifice a little bit of protection and get yourself something that has some good mesh in it for airflow, more of a textile glove. We really like to lean towards a hybrid like this Thunder because this is, if you're gonna sacrifice, this is kind of the lesser of the evils because it still blends a lot of protection in the high impact areas, okay? Now let's go a little higher end. We're gonna show a Tai Chi here, a GPWRX. Very comfortable, very protective, very reasonable airflow, but it's a full gauntlet leather glove now. We've really taken the protection to a level that these two just aren't capable of. Because you've got more coverage, right? You've got palm sliders, high quality. Tai Chi makes a great product as well. We're gonna keep on going up the line. This is new, uh, as of, of a year ago, the Knox Handroid. Knox has a hand armor line now. Very out of the box, metacarpal protection here, impact slider protection, BOA technology, right, for the cuff adjuster. We've got the SPS slider system on the palm, kangaroo, high end, tons of protection. You're losing some airflow, right? They still feel comfortable, but they're a little warmer, you know, a little less convenient yeah. maybe than a short glove. And now we're gonna, finish off with one of our best-selling high-end gloves, the Held Phantom, uber high-end. These guys have been making high-end gloves for 30 years. You could probably say best of the best. I mean, it, there's others that may be as good, but there's none better. Kangaroo skin, Stingray. That's pretty much almost bulletproof. Yeah. You know, if you have a crash in a Phantom and it's not able to be worn again because you've damaged it enough, you probably would have destroyed your hand in a lesser glove. Oh, definitely. They're that good. I mean, they're yeah. they're solid. We see most people, you buy them, and if you fall on the track, you usually get two, three, four falls out of these things. Great glove. So just when you're choosing your glove, first I would say let's look at your climate, your application, and then let's, let's pick your risk level. What are you comfortable with? Use all those things blended with what we just told you to choose the right gloves for yourself. Okay, now we're going to lock this up with footwear. Unfortunately, in my right hand here, I have Smitty's worn out stinky DC, okay? Trying to handle it carefully. You could ride in this if you wanted to, but clearly it's not gonna cover anything on your ankle. No. No abrasion protection, nothing, okay? So if you fall down, I mean, just think of the sides of your ankle for a minute, right? You know, your low side or something, and just think about all that flesh coming off this, uh Oh yeah, yeah. Especially if the bike's on, on you or. Bad yeah. thought right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, Smitty's wearing a shift kicker, okay? It's been a, it's a retro style high top. And it looks like a tennis shoe, but man, you pull it up and look at that, covering the ankle. We've got a full video review on that, look at it, but you wouldn't even know that's a motorcycle shoe until you pull up the pant leg and look right. at it, and yeah. they're comfortable. There's a million examples of that, okay? Here's another great one from Icon, the Accelerant. Icon's got a great footwear line. Alpine Stars has a great short boot line. Tai Chi's got a couple of really cool ones, mm -hmm. Sh Shift. Puma's got some short ones if you're into that kind of Euro style, right? For the street, my preference would be more going to a full boot like a Alpen Stars SMX5 is for an example. It's a full boot. These things are way more comfortable than you would ever imagine. They're thin enough up top, you could pull your pant leg over it. You've got all the shin protection, heel, toe, you know, you've got a reinforced sole steel shank. Something happens, this is really gonna do a great job to protect you. And this is a ventilated boot, so it's not gonna be super hot. Um, we've even seen guys wear full-on race boots, like a Super Tech R oh, yeah. on the street. And those are the guys that are, they found out that boot is that comfortable and they just don't wanna give away any protection. Mm -hmm. So once again, for your footwear solution, you know, kind of qualify the things that we did there. Don't ride in your tennis shoes. They need to go over your ankle. That's the first place to start. From there, decide, do you want a short boot or do you want a tall one? Okay, we're gonna tie this all up for you now. Our goal when we did this was to just kind of highlight different types, different materials, different styles of riding apparel, right? Show you how something should fit, show you that you could wear a full-on race back protector under your street jacket. Nobody would ever even know. Yeah, but <laughs> without trying. So. Right, but, but I'll tell you what, you'll know if you fall off and you got that thing on there because it's gonna save your ass. And that's what we're really looking to do here. We're big proponents of protective apparel. We worked really hard to understand it and we believe that all the things that we offer in our catalog at their various price points are very high quality. If you're a new rider, 
there's probably no better place to shop than here because we can get you outfitted literally from head to toe and make sure that within your budget, we get you good stuff so you're protected and you're as safe as you can be and you're as comfortable as you want to be. I'm Brian Van. And I'm Smitty. Thanks for watching.